was determined to be an accidental fire, and we have pretty much said that all along, that we there was no indications of criminal intent, and so that's official now. It is an accidental fire, and the official cause was by improperly discarded smoking material. And we know the fire started on the outside deck at the second level deck, the upstairs unit. Uh, this was um, apartment L, uh, where Miss Michelson was located. And the, uh, we know there was some smoking up there. The cigarette butts were found. The containers were found there. And the investigators uh, believed that, that uh, it was a windy night and uh, somehow or another a spark or a cigarette was improperly discarded and started the fire. Now the fire then moved up the outside of the building into the attic area. Uh, once it got into the attic area, it was above any smoke detectors, so the smoke detectors weren't able to pick it up and detect it. Uh, it disabled the smoke detectors. They were electrical, they were hard wire detectors, and so uh, the, the current to the detectors were um, disabled before the fire could ever reach it to, um, to set off the detection devices. There were no sprinklers in the building, and uh, the reason there's no sprinklers and the way that these uh, um, smoke detectors were wired was because of when the building was built. It was um, 1985 construction, is that right? 1985 construction and sprinklers or smoke detectors with battery backups were not uh, required at that time. They had a container there, so we really don't know how the improperly discarded material might have gotten out of the container. If the wind blew it out, all that would just be speculation on our part. But the investigators were real sure that that was the location that the fire started. And um, from the investigation, know that, they, that it was a common occurrence that they did smoke on the deck and they discarded their smoking materials out there. So um, how, how exactly it got out of the container or exactly how the fire started, we don't know. We just do know it started at that particular spot. There was a, just a couple of apartments that were 100% totally damaged and then there was a couple of more that were fire damaged. So you probably had about four apartments there that were damaged and then you had smoke damage on, you know, probably another four or six.